There are a ton of amazing weapons in Starfield, and while most of the loot you find while exploring is random, there are some guaranteed ways to get amazing guns too. And I will tell you about them without any main story spoilers in this video. One of my favorite weapons in the game that everyone can get is the Boom Boom. It's a shotgun with a unique perk that makes it randomly switch to explosive rounds, which are very powerful. An explosive shot deals much more damage than a regular shell, has better range, and of course, since it's an explosion can easily hit multiple enemies too. Pair that with the fact that this weapon comes preloaded with large magazines, increasing the ammo capacity to 20 rounds and a laser sight and high velocity mods to further increase the accuracy and you'll see why I like this weapon so much. Even when firing the regular rounds, the high fire rate and mag capacity make this an amazing shotgun. And remember that the damage of a weapon can scale with multiple skills, in this case ballistics and shotguns, so if you invest in those, it becomes even more powerful. The way to get this weapon is very straightforward as it's one of the unique weapons sold by one of the vendors in the game. For this one, you want to travel to the Voli system to the city of Neon on Voli Alpha. After landing and taking the elevator down to the city, turn left and look for this Neon tactical sign. The shopkeeper here sold me the Boom Boom for a little over 17,000 credits, but the price may vary depending on how many points you've put in the commerce skill. Of course, while you're at the vendor, don't forget to stock up on some ammo, which for the boom boom means stacking up on caseless shotgun shells. And there are more unique weapons you can get from merchants throughout the galaxy, but before we touch on those, I want to talk about a special quest line that rewards you with two of the best weapons in the game. And the first one of these you can actually get pretty early, it's a legendary pistol called the Keel Hauler that already looks really cool with the red touches and the little skull. And because it is a legendary weapon, it also comes with three perks, and while they appear to be the same for everyone, I don't think they're particularly great. No, what makes this weapon stand out are the mods it comes with. The sight might not look like anything special, but it is actually a recon laser sight, meaning it will mark enemies if you keep your aim trained on them. But the real standout, and this might surprise you, is that this revolver fires in full auto. And while the recoil is pretty bad, if you choose to fire this way, at close range you can absolutely melt a target. Just aim for the chest or even a bit lower to make sure all shots hit the target, but even the elite enemies with multiple health bars don't stand a chance against this, it's incredibly powerful. The way I got there was by talking to Commander Tuala at the front desk of the Mast and signing up for the UC Vanguard. You get here from the Mast tram station and then take this elevator to the lobby. But you also go here during an early main story mission and can then immediately sign up for the Vanguard. After completing training and your first quest grunt work, you'll have have two quest lines open for them. Don't worry, these can be completed independent from one another, but for the pistol, we want to follow the quest Deep Cover, which eventually leads into Echoes of the Past. Alternatively, if you want to get straight to the Deep Cover quest, committing a crime in New Atlantis, like punching a civilian in the face, will also get you recruited to the fleet. So then, you can skip the UC Vanguard sign-up and the Grunt Work quest, which is pretty nice. However, you get the Deep Cover quest no matter what, and then you can just follow the objectives, do the same for the Echoes of the Past quest and you will end up being rewarded with the Keel Hauler Pistol. Before we go over more amazing weapons that you definitely want to get, if you've enjoyed the video so far, leaving a like on it would really help us out. And subscribe as we got way more spoiler free Starfield videos coming your way and already up on the channel. Now I said there are two weapons you can get from this quest, but for the second one you will need to play all the way to the end of the Crimson Fleet questline until you reach the quest Eye of the Storm. Now I'm not going to spoil any plot details of course, but there is one general tip I want to give. You can still do this quest even if you don't want to become a criminal. Most quests can be completed without witnesses or casualties if you make smart use of stealth and persuasion, so keep that in mind. When you eventually reach the Eye of the Storm mission, you'll end up looking for a specific computer terminal in a quest location. When you reach this computer, you'll find that there is a legendary rifle called the Revenant just lying there for you to pick up. And one final tip, you can't fast travel back to your ship from this place, so make sure you remember where you came from when you're ready to leave. But yeah, the Revenant is awesome. It has an incredible rate of fire with very manageable recoil, and contrary to the keel hauler, the legendary perks on it are great too. For starters, the extended magazine perk doubles the base mag size, which means you can fire 150 rounds before you need to reload. So even with the insane rate of fire, you can keep the trigger down for quite 
quite some time before you need to reload. On top of that, you also have Lacerate, meaning you have a small chance to apply the bleed status to an enemy, draining their health over time. And finally, the Titanium build perk massively decreases the weight of this weapon to 0.15, which is lighter than a pistol. Might not seem like a big deal, but considering how much stuff you're carrying around most of the time, having an assault rifle be this light is really nice. So make sure you grab it before leaving the area during that Eye of the Storm mission to not miss out on one of the best rifles in the game. Now the one downside the Revenant does have is that it's pretty loud. So if you'd rather have a rifle equipped for a stealthier approach, you can buy the highly modified and very powerful Marksman's A99 from Centaurian Arsenal in New Atlantis. Take the tram to the residential district, head straight and through this little tunnel on your left and then you should see the shop also on your left. Enter it and talk to Anya to buy the weapon for 23,840 credits. Again, the price might be different for you if you have a different level in the commerce skill. This rifle comes with 7 mods and as you might have guessed, it's specced for accuracy and it also comes with a suppressor to reduce the sound of your shots. It has a decent scope and the tactical magazine makes sure your reloads are always quick. Although you don't need to reload often as this thing is effectively a semi-auto sniper with a magazine capacity of 25 and the hitman perk it comes with also ensures you deal increased damage while using the scope. So it's a very nice weapon to stealthily take out enemies from range. There's also a main story mission that grants you an insane weapon with a ton of mods. The Experiment A7 is a shotgun that comes with the Exterminator perk, meaning you'll deal 30% extra damage against alien creatures. Since most of these are melee enemies and try to get up in your face anyway, having this perk on a shotgun is already really good. But the main reason why this weapon is so nice is that it comes preloaded with 8 mods, including a full auto mod so you can just hold down the trigger and flechette rounds that can also cause bleeding. In case you don't know, modding weapons requires not only resources, but also research and investment in certain skills to do that research. Meaning, it can be a lot of effort to start modding things exactly how you want them, so having a weapon like this or the Marksman's A99 that comes fully decked out with great mods is really nice. In order to get the Experiment A7, you'll need to progress through the main quest until you reach the mission Final Glimpses, which is pretty late in the story. Again, no story spoilers and don't worry, because if you focus on main quests, it won't take too long to reach that point. The quest has two objectives and we're going to follow the one that takes us to Freya 3. As soon as you reach the system, a new quest called Entangled will start, which we're going to follow. Quick save often, as at one point you'll end up in the office of the guard Ethan, who you need to ask about scorpions native to the planet. After this, a dialogue option with Persuade will pop up and if you succeed, he will give you the Experiment A7. If you fail, load your most recent quick save and simply try again until you get it. And there are even more unique weapons in the game, like the powerful Elegance Pistol that Jordan talked about in our Amazing Things You Want To Get Early video, which you can watch by clicking on the screen. Leave a like if you enjoyed this one and subscribe so you don't miss our next spoiler-free Starfield video. I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.